So, this is my Fuchsia modded Game Boy Advance with a front light from a Nintendo DS light panel. And earlier tonight, or and today, earlier to a while ago, I installed the switch right here, as you can see. When you once you flip the switch, the front light is off. Once you turn it back on again, the front light is back on. Off, on, off, on. When you're using the front light, this is supposed to be meant for dark areas. When it's non lit, it's meant to be plain in the sunlight. So, I added a switch right here, and unfortunately, I couldn't get the Game Boy Advance top part to close all the way. See, it's difficult to close it all the way. And. The right um, grip thing moves a little bit, unfortunately. So, how is the brightness switch on the Game Boy Advance of mine similar to the front lit brightness button on the Game Boy Advance SP? Well, when you turn it on, the Game Boy Advance SP AGS-001, the light is on. Once you press that light button, it shuts off. Once you press the light button again, it turns back on. On, or er, off, on, off, on. And, you know what? When the front light is off, the, sc those screen the screen, screen looks just like an original stock Game Boy Advance or stock Game Boy Advance. The original Game Boy Advance did not have a front lid or a backlight in there at all, unfortunately. But my future Game Boy Advance, I did add a front light on there. I also did backlight mods on my Indigo Game Boy Advance and my Arctic White Game Boy Advance, but I'm not going to show them in this video. And that's all. Bye.